Hi, Paul Gold here from TennisInfoProducts.com and a quick video for you to highlight the main points of the Power Serve. Now, I've had a lot of questions about the Serve and quite rightly too because the Serve really is the number one shot if you want to make the whole winning of, of games and points and matches a lot easier for yourself. Having a really good Serve, especially if you have a powerful Serve, can give you a lot of free points and a lot of cheap points. Now, obviously, you've got to be able to place it well, but if you can hit that well-placed serve with power, especially at the club level, that really does make the whole winning of, like I say, matches a lot easier. So what I've done is I've I've basically broken the, the serve down into five main points for you to consider and go away and work on. And then, um, but what, I've, what I'm going to do is just run through them very quickly. And what I then want you to do is to just pick out the individual points as we go through, see if you can follow them, and then take the points out one by one by replaying the video and going away to work on the individual bits if you're not too sure in your own time. But I'm just going to whiz through these and hopefully it's going to make sense and give you the overall picture. So let's start. Point number one. Now point number one is the full extension of the tossing arm. Now, a lot of club players and rec players don't do this very well, but here's a really good example there. Nice full extension of the tossing arm, and that results in a good shoulder alignment all the way down into the uh, racket arm and the racket itself, and allows the head to pop up as well so that you can keep your eyes on the ball. Not enough people actually keep their eyes on the ball. Now, uh, point two, the racket head and the tossing arm actually facing up in the same direction there. Now, we've got the racket head, as you can see, pointing up to the sky, and the tossing arm is staying pointing up to the sky. And you can also see that the the upper body is just rotated and coiled a bit. You can see his back is just facing, almost almost facing the net a bit. And that's going to result in increased power because of that upper body rotation. And you can see also that he's beginning to dip his, his knees there, beginning to dip into his knee bend. And again, that will create leg drive and that will result in increased serving power. Now, Point three, this is the acceleration phase where the player accelerates up to the ball. Now, this is done by straightening the legs. Here we go. Now, you can see his legs have straightened and the shoulders have changed position, haven't they? You can see that the racket head has dropped there to face the ground. And you can see that the shoulders have leveled out. The chest is now facing upwards because of the uncoiling of the upper body. And the tossing arm is now beginning to drop out of the way. Otherwise, you'd obviously hit it. But this is all part of the uncoiling acceleration phase. Now, point four we're going to look at is the contact point just past the contact point there. Now the contact point was right at the top of the reach and out in front. The hitting shoulder you can now see has come right over the top of the uh, tossing shoulder and the tossing arm is now tucked underneath and across the chest. Yeah, it was high up in the air. Basically, it's what we call a shoulder over shoulder movement. The tossing arm, which was at the top when the ball toss was going up, is now at the very bottom. Now, point five, we're now into the momentum phase because you've now hit the ball and you can see that the momentum has carried him into the court and the back leg is now going up behind him and acting as a counterbalance. He's got his, his chest is now parallel to the uh, court surface, but he's got his head looking forwards so he can see exactly what's happened with the ball. And, and I'll just roll it on. You can see now that he's hit the ball, he's now in a perfect position, racket uh, up and ready to play the ball if it comes back. So, that was the service action. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you liked it. Hope it made sense. Check out the website for more hints and tips on the serves. And again, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Bye for now.